All right, now, if you've been around here, you know that when it comes to a professional lighting console software, I really love Onyx. It used to be Martin's MPC, now it's Alation's Onyx. And in this video, I want to show you three things that I wish I had known when I began with Onyx. Hi, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com, and if you're new to Onyx, um, if you've used other consoles before, or maybe you haven't used other consoles before and you're considering Onyx, or maybe you've used it for a while, I want to share with you three things that really have blown my mind in Onyx and are really crucial to understand when you're first beginning. It's going to help you make a better show from the get-go and really understand how the gears inside of the software run. So let's dive into the software and I want to show you the three things I wish I knew when I began with Onyx. Now Onyx is my very favorite professional lighting console and it's easy to see why. It really offers a ton of value at a really reasonable price across the whole range um, as compared to other professional level consoles on the market. And I'm not going to go into that too much here, but I've got a video right here that talks about that. Now, there's really three big things that before I began with Onyx, which was formerly Martin's MPC, now Alation's Onyx, um, there, there's three things that I wish I'd known because I'd come from using other professional lighting consoles. And while that enabled me to learn a number of things about Onyx pretty quickly, there were other things that are unique to Onyx that are pretty amazing that I didn't know about. And so here I just want to highlight three of those. There's, there's more out there, but three is what I'm going to highlight here. So the first is preview and live time. If you've worked with other lighting consoles, you'll notice that there's a button on here called preview, which when you click it, switches the console into blind mode. Okay. So what every console has this, right? Well, what it can do and, and where it's really powerful is that you can actually fade in and out your programmer, which can be super powerful, especially in a live show situation when you need to sneak something in. So say I take these fuse washes here and I go into preview. So I'm in blind here. I bring up my intensity of full. I tilt them one direction or the other. Actually, we'll just go to my presets here. We'll select a position preset. We'll go back to our 2D plan. We see nothing there because we're in preview or blind mode. And now we hit blind preview again, rather, and it pops right in. Okay. That's how most consoles work with their blind mode. And that's cool. But if you're in a live show situation, that's not very useful because things aren't going to fade together. However, in Onyx, you can go in here, set up whatever you want. Say I even add a color to it. You know, let's just go in here and uh, turn them to sure yellow. We turned off blue. And now I'm going to go here to rate, set my live time, which I, I normally when I'm running a show, I have it set at half a second or a second so I can sneak things in as needed. And now when I press preview, it's going to fade in at the live time that I've set. So this is super powerful because it enables you to, you know, fade something in, in your programmer, your programmer is going to take priority. And then when you're done with it, you want to go back to your faders and back to, you know, full control um, via the faders on the console. You can hit preview again, hit clear, press that twice, and you're good to go. You're, you're back in your show. Your programmer's gone and you can toggle that preview again. Now, another thing inside of Onyx that I thought was simple, but was not, is the load command centered around this button. So if I play back a bunch of things here, let's say I bring up some intensities on my lights. I, I, I'm going to create a look here. Actually, usually there's different faders in this demo file, but um, I've messed with this one. And so we're not going to turn on the effects right now, but let us go and just create a new fader on the second bank. So we'll just go here, pretend we've programmed this ahead of time. Go in here, add some color, grab these guys. Don't really know what I'm selecting, so it's probably not gonna look very good, but we'll try. <laughs> we'll add in, we'll put that in blue, add in a gobo on these guys, and then add a gobo one. 
Excellent. So now we've got a look that we like on our stage. Okay, so we'll program it in. It doesn't look half bad. Record it. Call it. Load a cue. We'll play that guy back. And so now if we want to load everything that is being output, we want to just load this to, to play within the program or change some things if we want, um, you know, maybe go ahead and, uh, you know, record it. We could totally press load, load, and then everything that we've selected here, everything gets brought into our programmer and we can now um, change things around. We can deselect things. For example, I could go here to intensity and I could right click on this and clear the group to deselect it, pull it out of the programmer, save it as something new. Okay, that's great. Let's clear twice. But where load is really powerful is when I only load specific things. So if I wanted to just get the ones that are magenta, I could also press load, press magenta, press enter, and now I've loaded all of the lights that are magenta. So we can load from a group, we can load from a preset, or we can load everything, and all of this is quite powerful. Now, the last thing that I wish I knew about Onyx before I began, let me clear twice, is that everything is a parameter, okay? So in a lot of lighting consoles, and this gets a little bit abstract, but in a lot of lighting consoles, um, your, your regular things, such as um, if I select these lights, intensity, pan, tilt, collar, gobo, beam, the, the regular attributes of the lights are all stored as regular parameters, okay? So I can bring them to full, they get brought into the programmer, and I save them as a parameter. Then, when I'm working with a special type of fader, whether it be an override or a regular cue list, um, it's going to play these things back, and I'm going to be able to modify them with the fader, okay? Now, when it comes to things like effects, say we turn on some effects here, in a lot of lighting consoles, effects are kind of their own different world, okay? And they, they get stored as their own special thing, which can be all right and can create some great stuff. But if you then want to take a regular fader, like this override type fader in Onyx, and control effects with it, you're going to have to go into the settings in other consoles, turn it into an effects type fader that controls only effects, um, and then you're not going to be able to control probably effects and intensity, or maybe you'll only be able to control effects speed, and you won't be able to control effects size. Whatever it is, it, it kind of feels like a workaround. And, and I was used to this, and so I didn't think it was a workaround. I thought it was just normal. But then I moved over to Onyx, and I discovered that because everything is brought into the programmer, you know, well, such as the effects on intensity here, such as if I put a delay, say I say I put a delay 0 through 3 on all of these parameters, so that's in the playback. It's going to delay the lights or create a fan type effect um, as it loads this. No matter what I do, whether I'm doing delay changes, fade changes, um, changes in effects, Whatever I store in Onyx, all stores as parameters. And this is powerful because then I can just take a regular old when I'm recording it, just a good old regular, boring, normal override type fader, record it as that. And no matter what I've recorded on that fader, whether it be intensity, whether it be effects, whether it be delays, um, whatever it is that I've recorded on there, it's going to be played back and it's going to be controlled by that fader. Now, I don't have any tilt in there, so it's, it's really pretty much impossible to see what's going on here. But you, you would see something going on um, in a normal situation. And uh, that's one of the really powerful things about Onyx that I think makes it unique is that unlike a lot of other consoles out there, everything gets brought into the programmer and everything gets stored as a parameter. So there's no special effects type fader, no special effects speed fader, um, and you can store no special place to adjust delay or fade times for individual parts of your lights. All of it is stored just regular, and you don't have to think about a special fader type or use any, any type of workaround like that to get it going. Awesome. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you've learned something today about 
Onyx. If you do want to learn more, hop over to Learn Stage Lighting, and I've got a post completely dedicated to getting you started with Onyx, and I want you to check that out now. Also, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and click the bell for the latest videos, and I'll have something out to you soon. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.